Hello students and welcome to my channel Economics and Queries. Today I am going to start one of the most important topic of microeconomics that is the slope of a budget line. That is you have to go to chapter 2 that is consumer equilibrium. So let us start. You see what is slope of a budget line? First we will take the definition then we will take an example and at last we will derive it mathematically. Okay, so what is slope of a budget line? Slope of a budget line means amount that is amount of change in good y amount of change in good y required for per unit change in good x remember amount of change in good y required for per unit change in good x now let us explain this with the help of an example you see i have taken uh, say it is an individual and he has an income of 30 rupees what is his income say 30 rupees now with this income of 30 rupees he went to the market okay and he want to purchase good x and good y okay so he has an income of 30 rupees he went to the market he want to purchase two goods that is good x and good y now let us take the price of good x let it be p1 the price of good x is 10 per unit remember 10 per unit and and that of y is p2 equal to uh, say it is rupees 2 per unit now if i write the equation that is what is the combination of x and y that he can purchase let us see it will be uh, if i write p1 okay p1 means price of good x per unit remember p1 means price of good x per unit and into x x means quantity of x that is at what price and what amount of quantity that that individual will purchase so p1 x plus p2 p2 means price of y per unit okay and y is quantity of y equal to m m means his money income what is his money income 30 rupees okay now if you want to purchase one unit of x that is x equal to one and what is the price of x price of x is 10 so here write 10 plus p2 what is the price of p2 that is 2 so here we will write 2 and what is the quantity of y that he can purchase now you see here it is 10 into 1 it is 10 now what is his money income money income is 30 so what is the quantity of y that he can purchase that is uh, 20 rupees left because he has already uh, expend 10 rupees so if it is 20 rupees then what is the quantity that he can purchase he can purchase 10 units of y because you see 10 into 1 10 plus 2 into 10 20 equal to 30 so what is the combination that we are getting we are getting the combination 1 x and uh, 10 y you see 1 x and 10 y so this is the first combination that we are getting now if you want to purchase another unit of x say another unit of x if it is x is 2 and uh, the price of x per unit is 10 plus then it will be what 20 okay so 10 rupees left so this 10 rupees he has to incur on the quantity of y so what is the quantity that he can purchase of units of y it will be price of unit of y is 2 into it will be 5 so here 10 equal to 20 plus 10 equal to what 30 so you see here what is the quantity that he has been purchasing that is 2 units of x here you see 2 units of x and the next one is 5 units of y so these are the two possible combination that he can buy 
with his income of 30 rupees. Now, if I try to resemble it in a diagram, then you see what we will get. See, first combination is what? 1x and 10y. So, here in horizontal axis, we will uh, derive x good and in vertical axis, we will write y good. So, uh, if we start with 0, 1, 2, okay. So, here you see with 1x, what is the combination 10y? So, with 1x, if it is 10y, okay. And what is the next combination with 5y and 2x? So, here it is 1x, 2x. So, it is 5y. So, 5 here, we will write 5. Now, remember we have to derive the slope of a budget line. So, here in uh, first combination in is 1x and 10y. So, here we can write what? Uh, we can write 10 as quantity y and 1 as x. Okay. So, the next one is what? It is 5. So, what is the change in y? That is from 10 to 5. And what is the change in x? That is from 1 to 2. So, what is the additional unit that he has been purchasing? That is delta x equal to 1. Okay. And this is his new x. Let us write it x1. Okay. It is 